Hello and welcome to yet another racket review. I'm Tenny Shelley and today I will be reviewing the newest John XV Core 95. So I have previously reviewed the, the old V Core 95, uh, the last version which was the uh, 2021, uh, which you can see on my channel as well. And and I think it has become a trend of me to to do this uh, ball machine videos with just the, the vehicle 95 and uh, so that's what you'll be getting today as well uh, with some footage of me used hitting some ground strokes and serves uh, with the with the ball machine so the vcore 95 is more of a player style frame uh, it's made for more advanced players uh, because of the, the smaller head size uh, of course uh, which is the biggest aspect of this racket uh, it is endorsed by Dennis Shapovalov, uh, which when I play with this racket, I can feel and understand why he uses uh, with this type of game style and his uh, technique. We can start off with some specifications of the racket, which you can see on the screen. For example, the 310 gram unstrung weight, 310 millimeter balance, and 95 square inches, of course. Uh, and the 16 by 20 string pattern, which also stands out for this frame. Uh, it's the only frame in the V-Core lineup which has the 16 by 20. All the other ones have the 16 by 19. So as I mentioned, I have reviewed the previous version. I have also played with the 2018 version uh, and the version before that, but not in the 95, only 98, uh, which was the SV, V-Core SV. Uh, so in comparison, a lot, a lot of people really enjoyed the 2018 version and they got disappointed with the, the 2021. But I feel like they have become more close again to the 2018 version with this new and 2023. It's still not the same, of course. It is a different frame and some different features uh, in the beam thickness, uh, for example, uh, and also the stiffness is different. Uh, since the layup has been changed over time. But I feel like they have really improved the racket from, from last, mostly feel-wise. Performance-wise, I still feel like every version uh, are playing the same. They have the same aspects uh, and they fit the same play style. The previous can feel a bit more muted. So maybe that's why a lot of people didn't, didn't like it. It was the same with the, the blade uh, counter rail. It also got a bit muted and people didn't like that either. So I guess too dampened doesn't fit uh, most players. They want to feel the ball, they want to feel impact on the string bed. Uh, and I can totally agree with that as well. Right from the start with this racket, I feel more confident uh, on pretty much every type of stroke or execution I feel more confident I feel like I can put my effort into this frame and it will deliver what I do so it doesn't give you much for free uh, it is a more difficult type frame but if you do the work and you do it correctly you will get the result uh, which I really enjoy with this racket and that's actually why I switched to this racket from my Vcore Pro that I used and my Vcore Tor F97s, uh, which I used for a while. Uh, so this is my new go-to frame. Already got two. Uh, if you plan on choosing or choosing one frame to play with, I really recommend to at least have two uh, when you break your strings uh, in case you have a match or something. So my second time playing with this frame uh, was in match. I only have one practice before a match. Uh, I didn't win the match, but I played the type of game that I wanted to play that I haven't really been playing for a while. And the type of game that I play on practice, but not on matches. So the racket gave me confidence to really bring my game to the match. And even though I didn't win, I really I felt really happy about my performance and the way I played, uh, which really gave me a boost of confidence going into the next matches and next practices and so on. So the V-Core is a very versatile type of frame. Maybe not the 100, but at least the 95 is very versatile. It is great in all areas of the court, 
uh, doesn't really shine in any areas, but it's really overall great frame, uh, very versatile. Uh, it can be a bit whippy because of the balance, uh, it's very handle uh, heavy. So I would recommend to at least put some weight as I have done here, uh, some lead tape uh, in the hoop to bump up the, the balance a bit. Uh, since for some players it can be heavy, but I feel like because of the balance, it doesn't really feel heavy. I have had brackets that weighed 310 grams that I felt were too heavy for me, but that is mostly because of the swing weight and the balance. Uh, and since the balance is in the handle, mostly uh, the extra weight doesn't really feel uh, fatiguing or in any way like that. So I suggest to try out this frame for yourself. It's a great frame. Uh, if you're searching for something like in the categories of a blade or a radical, uh, this would be uh, in there as well. Uh, Yonix always have quality frames, great uh, quality uh, handmade in Japan. And quality control is really great as well. I think it's plus minus one or two grams. Uh, so you don't really have to, to match the frames when you get uh, multiple frames. Uh, so that's a really good factor as well. But that will be all for this racket review. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out my Instagram for a recent post and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And that will be all for me. Have a great day. Bye.